Hello there everybody, and welcome to F1 22 Online Mayhem. All future F1 videos will be these random online races. Now there will be no further career mode videos, but I hope you can enjoy these ones. And we're starting off with this... Well, this was a good race in Bahrain. I really enjoyed this one, so I wanted to share this one with you. Right, we are on the grid. We are P18 out of 18. So let's hope we can make something out of this race. It's lights out and away we go. Well, away someone doesn't go there because he was just completely not there. And a couple of other guys have really not got a good start at all. But we've made up quite a few positions as we head into turn one. And we've got a bit of a traffic jam resembling the M25 here. And sort of nothing has just sent it down the inside and gained so many positions. Debris across the track as many cars make contact. Someone's done a Grosjean on my right. I think that contact may have been involved there. We go down the inside of another guy. We've moved up into P11 now. And we're chasing the guy who gained so many places at turn one. Sword of nothing. And I think he just found a gap and went through. And now he's gone wide. He's compromised. There's another car facing the wrong way there. And sword of nothing. We couldn't. We couldn't just get past him here, but he's now making a dive down another car, and he's very slow on the curve. I'm trying to go around the outside of him now, no way through there, but if we could just slipstream him, I'm going to take a look up his inside. We're side by side down the straight. I'm going to break later. I've given him plenty of space. He's trying to hang it out around the outside, but I've got good momentum here, and he has backed out of that one, so that is now P9. These two look like they're getting very close. Yep, they've come together. One spins round. The other one tries to recover and then has to jam on the brakes as he realises he was going to recover into my path. And made a very sensible choice actually to back out of that. So in avoiding all the chaos, which is what we've done, we have managed to move up into P7. Make that P6 because someone has died for the pits. So I suspect the debris that we saw strewn across the track was something to do with him. Right, P6 and now we're chasing... A guy whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce in P5. I'm checking back quickly and oh, oh dear, he's done a Mazepin. He's got it completely wrong out of the corner and into the gravel and that's his race done. He is out of the race. So we are now sitting in P5 and I'm really thinking about trying to chase after this podium as another driver is out of the race. That's three cars already wiped out of this race. So we're now chasing down the guy in P4. Sword of Nothing is all over my rear. And I think he is going to try and have a look now that the DRS has been opened. Is he going to try down the inside? He's getting ever closer. Meanwhile, the two cars in front of me are going side by side. They're having a battle with their own. And I think, I think the guy who's now in fourth went a bit wide and he's lost the place. Sword of Nothing is just not getting off my rear. He is determined to take the position from me. As we now head into lap four, this penultimate lap, another car's gone round, and as a result, we are now up to fourth, fighting for a podium. Can we get on the podium in this race? Sword of Nothing's trying to go round the outside, using space that just doesn't really exist. The guy behind us has now completely thrown it wide, so he's no longer a factor in this battle. And that's a shame, because he seemed to have relatively decent pace, and it would have been interesting to see... How it would have shaken out if he'd have joined the battle. But he's a second and a half down. And I've got Sword of Nothing all over my rear. I don't want to lose too much time fighting him. Because I'm really pushing to get after this guy in third. But he's r right in my DRS now. He's going to have a look up the inside. I'm going to leave him the space on the to take the inside. But I'm now going to switch and do the up and under. His exit is a little bit squirrely. He got a little bit of wheel spin by the looks of it. And that was enough for us. To retake P4. But now we're going after P3. Here we go then. This is the final lap. We're going to have one chance to do this. Can we get ourselves into third? Using the slipstream. Using what little overtake we have left. Because we have next to none left. And it's going to be a dive up the inside. Are we going to make it through? No, he's turned in on us. We've nearly lost it. I'm trying to turn in the corner. We've got understeer. We've got into him. And round it goes. We have gone completely round there and that is us losing a couple of positions sort of nothing gets past and someone else i think had a sympathy spin there 
We've got back past Sword of Nothing and we've got past the guy who I think is the one that had the sympathy spin, but he's now side by side with me coming to the double left here. This is not where you want to go wheel to wheel. I've left him the space, but he's elected not to use it. And he has backed out of that one. And I think he's going to go for the DRS here. He might have a go. I've gone defensive. He's going to the outside. But I don't think he's quite got the momentum to get it done. We hold the inside. We've got that defended. But we've still got two major breaking zones to defend. My goodness me. This is going to be a tense ending to this one. Are we able to catch up to P4? I think he's just a little too far ahead. We've got a warning for exceeding track limits. And the guy behind us is now having another look. I'm going defensive once again into the last corner. He doesn't quite break as late as we do. But I've now gone a little bit slippery out of the corner. And that's allowing Sword of Nothing to go. Who do I cover? I've got two cars coming at me. Do we hold the position just by 26 hundredths of a second? Thank you for watching, guys. TTFN.